Hey, it's Friday. Let's talk food, specifically diners. According to Grubhub or Grub Street, the city has half as many diners as it did some 20 years ago. And in Queens, preservationists are trying to find out what to do with this old Shalimar diner. Michael Hartzenberg has more in tonight's Our Changing City report. At the corner of 63rd Drive and Austin Street, between the Long Island Railroad and Queens Boulevard, locked behind this construction wall, sits something cherished. I'm very sad about this. We don't know what happened, and this is a very good place. I'm going to miss this place. The Shalimar Diner was a Rego Park staple. It opened in 1974, and like many old-timey diners, it served everything from sandwiches to steaks, along with a heaping helping of the past. Nothing has been changed. It was the old-fashioned way of serving you and eating you. It was just spectacular. I loved one of the waitresses, Carol, so much. She used to sit down at our table and talk with us. It was tradition going to the Shalimar Diner. Back in the day, diners were manufactured to move. The Shalimar is said to have been prefabricated by the popular Coleman Dining Car Company. The diner closed in November, but it does live on, in a way. You show me a pay stub for $72,000, I'm going to quit my job right now and I work for you. The Wolf of Wall Street and Blue Bloods shot scenes here, but the future of the actual building is in doubt. We're very emotional. Michael Perlman is the founder of the Rigo Forest Preservation Council and wants to save the structure. I'm only hoping the uh, Shalma Diner can be uh, picked up and transported e either uh, locally, um, a Long Island, a different borough, upstate of New York, or even out of state. Perlman says he was instrumental in rescuing two Manhattan diners from the wrecking ball, the Moon Dance in Soho, and the Cheyenne on 9th Avenue. Hopeful restaurateurs truck them off to other states. Those new ventures seem to have floundered, but Perlman is still hopeful. It may not be uh, dinner, dinner to go, but a diner to go. He says the property's current owner will let someone take the diner away for free, but it has to be gone by May 1st. If not, the owner does plan to demolish it and hasn't said yet what he plans to replace it with. One thing's for sure, though, this window into the past will soon be gone. From Regal Park, Michael Hertzenberg, New York 1. There's so much more to come on this Friday edition of Live.